John the Mouse. Fred Wells homesteaded in South Dakota before coming to Lamar's area. Fred uh, returning to business he had known several years earlier in Chicago where he worked for his father selling and delivering milk for a dairy his father owned and operated in Chicago at the turn of the century. But the family sold the dairy and moved to South Dakota in 1903 to homestead a farm on the lonely plains north of Philip. In 1911, young Fred Wells and his wife came to Plymouth County, moving to a farm south of Lamar's, which Fred operated for two years. In the fall of 1913, he purchased the Lamar's milk route from Ray Bowers and re-entered the milk business. One of the first things he did was to have the wagons repainted a gleaming white, as sons recall, and then he had the late Sylvester Kale letter the wagons with the modest but gleaming gold leaf letters. The two items became hallmarks of the Wells delivery vehicles through the years, as many Lamar's residents can remember well. Wells was founded in 1913 by Fred H. Wells when he purchased a horse, a delivery wagon, and a few cans and jars and a goodwill of a business from a dairy farmer in Lamar's, Iowa for about $250. The original contract guaranteed Fred H. Wells the milk distribution route and also guaranteed a source of raw milk from the farmer's herd of 15 milk cows. Around 1925, Fred H. Wells and his sons began manufacturing ice cream in Lamar's, Iowa. As the popularity of their ice cream grew, they quickly branched out and began distributing their frozen confections in the surrounding towns. The following year, 1927, Fred H. Wells and his brother Harry C. Wells began a partnership to distribute ice cream in the Sioux City, Iowa, located about 25 miles south of Lamar's. In 1928, Fairmont Ice Cream purchased the ice cream distribution system in Sioux City from the Wells brothers, along with the right to use the Wells name. Seven years later, in 1935, the Wells brothers decided again to sell ice cream in the Sioux City. No longer able to use their name, Wells, the brothers decided to run a name that ice cream contest in the Sioux City Journal. A Sioux City man won the $25 cash prize for submitting the winning entry. Blue Bunny, after noticing how much his son enjoyed the Blue Bunnies, in a department store window at Easter time. In 1982, time for a change, Blue Bunny updates its logo for the first time in almost 70 years. How refreshing. 1994, Lamar's is named the ice cream capital of the world. More ice cream is made here than any other location on earth. 1996, Blue Bunny updates their logo again, which is used for the next 20 years. In 2008, the Blue Bunny teams up with Jimmy Johnson Foundation to launch the Blue Bunny Helmet of Hope. The program gifts Education Focus Charities a $25,000 grant. Two thousand eleven, moving on up, the Blue Bunny Parlor moves to a two a twelve thousand square foot renovated building on Main Street. Two thousand thirteen. 
For the 100th anniversary, Wells and Blue Bunny partner with Make-A-Wish Foundation to grant 100 wishes to children with life-threatening illnesses. Two thousand sixteen, watch out world, Blue Bunny launched a new logo, new flavors and clear packaging so you can see the goodness inside. Wells is now the world's largest family owned and managed ice cream producer. As the world's largest manufacturer of ice cream in one location, Wells has made Lamar's, Iowa the ice cream capital of the world. As you sit down to eat your ice cream, you can listen to the history of Blue Bunny and also view how the ice cream is made. As the cones run down the assembly line, they get sprayed with some chocolate inside. Then they get some nice vanilla filling ice cream. They run through a little bit of a blast freezer just to make sure it stays in its shape. Then they will be transferred into the dipping machine where they dip it in to more chocolate and then they get nuts on top. Wells, maker of Blue Bunny products, is a leading manufacturer of ice cream and frozen novelties. More than 400 Blue Bunny products can be found across the United States. Blue Bunny products can be found in the grocery stores and supermarkets, restaurants, food service establishments, educational institutions, hospitals, etc. Convenience stores, vending outlets, neighborhood ice cream trucks and events, and military commissaries. Thank you for watching my video. I do have more for you to view, just press on the button, and if you'd like to subscribe to stay up to date, you can push that button too.